Welcome back to another fishing boat video, but today we're going to be adding fire suppression, bilge pumps, and CCTV to the fishing boat. Let's get started. First thing we're going to make is a fire suppression system for our engines just in case they actually explode and catch on fire. So we need to make the actual tank for it. So what we're going to do is put the fake tank right here. So this is what we will see um, normally. The tank's going to be hidden somewhere else that actually stores the water. But then we're also going to be able to switch to seawater if we run out of that main tank fluid. So that is a good thing that we're doing that. This is the tank right here that they had store the CO2 in or whatever they use in real life for fire suppression because this is exactly what they look like basically and then to actually add more detail to it because we don't want it to all be red we're gonna grab ourselves a paintable sign here and this will basically be something we can paint on to design it more so what we're gonna do is just paint some of these pixels down here because that's how it is it's just red on the bottom then now what we're gonna do is actually start making this so there's something like this on the top here and this like is a label of some sort i have no idea what it actually means and then on the edges it's like this weird looking blue color i have no idea why but it's something exactly like that that that's exactly how it looks. I don't even know. And then I realized it's not actually curved on the bottom. So what we're going to do is just flatten it out completely. Then I just realized these are actually normally in your engine room, probably for good reason. So you don't have to like run a line through your entire ship with fire suppression. So we're going to put it in here. But there we go. Now that we have our tank done, we actually need to run the line to our um thing. So this is going to pump out the water. Actually, it's not. This is just for um show kind of. So this is like the little nozzle that they have on the top. And we're just going to line it straight into the wall to look like it's actually going somewhere. You know, we don't have enough like actual weight capacity to put on um, actual stored water in here. I think we're just going to use the ocean water. That'd probably be much easier. So what we're going to do is line this actually straight through our fire suppression tank. So let's grab ourselves an enclosed pipe right here and it's going to be red. So we're just going to be grabbing seawater straight from the ocean and pumping it into our engine if there is a fire. I don't think that'd be ideal in real life, but um, yeah, we're just going to do it either way. So we're just lining up some pipes right now to line straight into the bottom to uh, take out some seawater. There we go. Then we'll line this straight to the bottom of the boat. And we're going to grab ourselves a fluid port to actually bring in the water. There we go. We got a fluid port and we'll just put it on the bottom of the boat here. And I had symmetry on. But there we go. We have it lined straight into the floor. Now we need an actual pump to pump it into the engine room. And I'm thinking the perfect place is literally inside of this tank right here. So we're going to delete three blocks and this will be our pump. Um, yeah, let's grab ourselves a pump. And this will, of course, pump the um, fire suppression straight into our fluid nozzles, which will spray it on the engine. So we'll have it like that. And then I think we're going to fill all these great pipes actually with fire suppression if we can. So that's what I'm going to do now. So we're going to have to delete a whole bunch of blocks here. So we're just doing the fire suppression pipes right now. We got some pipes. We got two um nozzles right over here actually spraying at the engine i hope those will actually extinguish the fire if there is one but then we have to add another one right here directly across from it we kind of want it to be um symmetrical i don't know if that's bad or not but that's directly across so i think we can do that all right so we'll put another hose right here so we'll just copy this nozzle put it right there perfect it's spraying right at the engine and i think we need to add another one over here there's definitely not a whole lot over there so we're going to line it even farther down let's go grab some more piping delete whatever this is i did put a whole lot of random piping in this thing just to have some looks you know then what we're also going to do we're just going to delete that right there make a t piece and this will spread it to multiple different directions there we go just like that and then there is our emergency battery down there so what we're going to do is have it spray on our emergency battery batteries really like catching on fire in this game so we're going to spray our emergency battery also with our fire suppression so battery suppression will work on it too so we'll do that and we'll grab ourselves a nozzle to spray on the battery and there we go now our battery should not ever catch on fire i mean it still can catch on fire just shouldn't like actually spread all right so we have our engine fire suppression button right here this will lead to an additional fire suppression button in the engine room which we'll have down here somewhere so what we're going to do is put it right here in the center so all you have to do is open this door and click the fire suppression button and then this will lead to the pump directly and then this external output will lead to the fire extinguish button from the captain over here all right so of course we need to go ahead and spawn this in and test it so that's what we're going to do all right it is spawned in and then what we're going to do is go in here and turn on the lights and activate fire suppression actually see if this works here we go and fire Fire suppression does work um we definitely need to have some more fire suppression over here which we can do but then of course we need to test this um if our engine actually explodes so i think i have a rifle somewhere up here for some reason yes we do perfect we're gonna actually start the engine and then shoot at it and then it should catch fire here so we're gonna just rev it up to full throttle here turn on our displays there we go we are moving all right so let's just say the engine for some reason catches on fire which it should do that here in a second if i hit a cylinder um it's not doing that okay here we go we're gonna shoot at a cylinder and it should catch on fire there we go and then we're gonna hit this one too there we go so now we have a major fire in the engine 
we're gonna turn on fire suppression and then it should put out the fire just like that and it does work so this works on all cylinders but i really want to have another nozzle over here that's definitely necessary there's not enough fire suppression going on in this thing but there we go now we have a working fire suppression let's go add that last nozzle all right so we're just gonna have the nozzle curve out of that one we're gonna grab ourselves a t-piece we already have it so we're just gonna grab that one we'll put the t-piece right there line it down with some straight pipe to kind of get it away from that main nozzle and then we need a curved um pipe just like this and then this will aim straight towards the engine just like that so then there's also something you can do with these um fluid nozzles you can do a spray angle we're gonna kind of test that here let's go ahead and grab a throttle we're gonna put it right here and change the spray angle i don't know exactly what this is gonna do i kind of have an idea but we're gonna see there we go now that we have that done let's test if this works okay fire suppression it should go through all those nozzles there we go just like that it goes on the engine kind of they're like kind of going down okay let's up our spray angle here what does spray angle do um i don't even know what that does it really doesn't do a whole lot i mean the entire engine room does have a lot of water in it i could say that but the spray angle really isn't doing a whole lot i can tell and then if we actually hover over the nozzle it's like turning on and off for the fluid supply i don't know why it's doing that i don't know if we have like a pressure issue but it's really not it should be like a constant flow i don't want it to be like going on and off i mean that might be just so the other ones can have some water to spray at too but honestly who knows now what i'm doing is going ahead and adding fire suppression also for our generators it's going to be on the same um nozzle so it's not going to be like separate fire suppression for engines and generators all right so now what we're going to do is blow up literally everything in the engine room we're going to start all of our generators all of our engines our engine is actually already running so everything is on right now oh i forgot about these generators so you have to enable all these nozzles to actually enable them this enables fuel air and exhaust for the generators it's like just some emergency manual stuff but there we go as you can tell the generators are running it is putting out exhaust on both of them yep there we go both of them but now what we're gonna do is kind of cause some chaos here so we're gonna shoot out our main engine here if i can get a direct hit there we go all right main engine cylinder has a hole in it it is on fire uh oh that's not good okay there we go that's on fire we're gonna shoot our generator out now there we go generators on fire we're gonna shoot out this one now all right everything's on fire we're gonna be activating fire suppression there we go and it puts out every single fire in the engine room this is a very good system actually it does 100 percent work that is awesome so now we finally need to actually go ahead and add some bilge pumps to this thing so that's what we're gonna do but as you can tell there's really not a whole lot of room up here to put our bilge pumps at but there is down here i can say that so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna grab ourselves some pumps right here we're gonna grab the big ones of course so the large fluid pumps to pump out all the water in this thing just in case so we're going to do this we're gonna turn on actually we don't want a cemetery why don't we have some fluid ports like right there and we'll do one right there too so those will be two bilge pumps in this room and we're gonna put another one like right here that'll work actually that wouldn't work because that's right where our stabilizer is at. Okay, so we cannot do that. Um, can we do this one? Ooh, that's gonna be close. I think we can though. All right, so let's go ahead and actually add these pumps. So we have some right here. We're gonna want those taking out water. So that will be in and then fluid out should be on that side. Perfect. We're gonna do the same for this one over here. And that's all we have to do for the rest of these. And of course, we can't forget some in the engine room. So we'll put some holes on the floor where we actually want them. So we'll put some like right here. Nope, that's our fuel tank. Okay, we cannot do one right there. We'll do one right there. And I think two is enough for the engine room. All right, so now we have bilge pumps in this front cap and right here as you can tell we only have one in this one and then we have like three down in this um main one right here that's good and then two down in the engine room so i think that's enough bills pumps for this thing i don't think we'd need any more nothing bad could happen obviously so i think we'll be fine and then what we're doing now is actually moving where our displays key is at to turn on all of our monitors we're gonna put it right here just because down here we're gonna have the bilge pump control because i don't want to accidentally activate fire suppression while trying to turn on my um displays so that's probably not a good thing we're just gonna switch the buttons there there we go we have bilge pumps connected to everything so the button up here actually enables all bilge pumps i don't know if we're gonna have a button that um enables just a couple of them at a time there's not really much we can test yet i mean i guess we can crash into a wall i mean why don't we do that i guess that makes sense and our general displays is right there perfect so this is full throttle i don't know what happened to all this thing speed um we might have lost it somewhere i don't know i'm definitely gonna fix that after this video here there's something definitely wrong with this thing's engine or something but we are full throttle only picking up 18 knots like that's terrible absolutely terrible like, i don't even think if we run into something it'll damage it but if we do we're gonna test our bilge pumps here all right here we go we're gonna run into that oh okay it does damage okay throttle down throttle down oh that's not good that's really not good okay we have a lot of damage i can confirm we're gonna be activating all bilge pumps if they're not broken oh gosh they're probably yeah all the ones back there are broken um the engine room bilge pumps are not broke let's go see if these are actually working so are they taking out any water no they're not so let's go down here and see if they're active they are active so if they did detect any water it would work so i mean this does really work now what we're gonna do is 
actually add navigation lights to this saying this is definitely needed so we'll put some nav lights right there and then on the left side here they're normally red so we're going to go and do this it is actually always red so red right there and then we're gonna have green on this side there we go so now we have nav lights and i'm pretty sure there's like a white light on the um stern down here yeah so back here we have a light like right here i think even though it is kind of blocked by our um actual anchors here it is a white light so let's see where we should actually put the button at to turn these nav lights on i think we'll just put it like right here for now um i don't know if that's gonna be permanent or if it's gonna be moved or it's gonna paint it all the colors there we go and then we're gonna connect our nav lights to this and there we go so that's all we have to do we need to actually connect those lights to our main breaker here same with that new button we just added so we have a lights breaker somewhere over here there we go lights breaker is being connected to all of our navigation lights right now and then we have to connect our button here to our actual main breakers uh displays breaker i'm pretty sure yep there we go but then of course we have to go ahead and test them and i want to add some deck lights so we can actually see when we're out there so we're going to do this turn on our navigation lights turn it to straight nighttime all right there we go and there you go so now yeah this is definitely visible at night i can definitely see this thing it does look pretty cool though honestly it looks awesome out here we can walk i don't even know if we actually need lights i mean but we should probably add them yeah we definitely should if we're like fishing and we can't see anything we definitely need lights out here and then most of the boats actually have these really bright lights up here on the top so that's what we're also going to do we're going to put the lights right there and then we're going to make them white i don't really like how they stick out like so much they're like so visible okay so how should we do this should we have them even out of course we should but like how do we do this um so we'll grab our blue color we got going on here and then we're going to grab the wedge and then this should be all we have to do um, um, something like that i don't know but it looks kind of bad down there though it looks good from the outside so i think that's all that matters to be honest and we're also going to put some over here on this side of the ship and then over here we're just going to put a whole bunch i'm not going to put so much that we actually get like a warning when we spawn this vehicle and i really hate vehicles that do that so we're not going to do that i can confirm that all right we'll put some right there and then now what we're doing we're evening it out of course to make it look good and smooth and there we go so now we have a whole bunch of actual cool looking lights um we're going to keep them white i think um are they normally white i'm pretty Pretty sure they are we'll just put them white and then of course we can change them and then we also need some lights back here so we're going to copy this so we will put a light right here this will just be so we can actually see what's like down in this area and then we're, we should definitely put some like over here so we'll put like two lights um like right here on both sides perfect and just like that now we have a whole bunch of lights in this thing let's paint this back one white here but now we need a button to turn on all these um exterior lights we got going on there we go so now we have all those connected to electric and our data so let's go ahead and spawn this in and test it of course okay so we do do not have any warnings when we spawn it that is a good thing oh it's really dark in here okay so we're gonna turn on these nav lights right here all right so we got nav lights and then our spotlights or then our normal lights there we go all right this is looking really nice okay so let's go out on deck here yeah so we can see like every square inch of this deck now that is exactly what we want i think we have a tsunami actually going over us or like a mini tsunami oh gosh it's about to plow us straight into the dock okay well yep so we can see everything on this thing even if it's pitch black um foggy rainy windy e literally everything oh my gosh that's so cool looking and then we cannot forget about cctv so that's going to be cameras all in the engine room and on the exterior of the boat so we have a clear view of what's happening at all times no matter the weather um i don't know about that one but we're gonna see where should we actually put this at i mean we have a whole bunch on this like little counter right here you know what? why don't we do that so it's gonna be angled so we're gonna delete all those blocks under it so we can actually have it angle then we're gonna grab ourselves a robotic pivot and it'll be connected to it by that right there then all this will be on a different subgrid so we're just going to delete that and then these will all be actual cameras but we're gonna do blocks for now just so we have some areas to place it at so we'll delete that one right there and then grab ourselves a monitor so we'll grab multiple one by one monitors these will all be at an angle so we can like clearly see them visually so we'll do that and now we have four cctv that we can actually add to this thing so where should we have these at i think we'll have a cctv right above this light right here hopefully that doesn't like have too much glare in it because that is a light so we're gonna place it right here and then i think we want it facing up um that might be upside down though i don't know we're gonna spawn it in a test it of course and then we have three more so we're probably gonna put one on the front right here so we can actually see what's going on in front of our boat so we'll put one oh gosh we'll just put it like right here we'll just delete this front block right there and oh i just realized we have a whole bunch of room in that thing then we're gonna make it the neotastic blue color here in a second once we get it there we go so we have a camera there and then we need two more so one in the engine room of course so where should we put this one like maybe like right here oh yeah then i keep forgetting the engineer needs a place to like sit down so we're gonna put a seat right there and some other places actually we'll just put one there all right so we're gonna grab ourselves a camera here and this camera wants to be pointing at that chair or around it so we could put it like maybe in this wall right there there are right, yeah that'd be a perfect spot so we'll put a camera right there and this will be pointed directly at them i really hope these cameras are not um facing the wrong way here they probably are though 
All right, so we have three cameras, and then why don't we put one right here, facing directly behind our ship? Um, should we do that? Uh, why not? Probably. Actually, or here, you know what? We'll do this. Yeah, so we have a camera facing into it, and then we want one facing kind of like down below it. So let's grab a camera to actually like see the net. So we'll have a perfect view of the net right here. So we'll put it like this, and then we want it facing upwards, probably like this. Hold on, we need to rotate it the other way. And there we go. So now we have four CCTVs around this thing. Let's go ahead and connect. Them. And there we go. So now we have cameras. Let's spawn it in and test it of course all right we're gonna turn on displays here and oh my gosh this is looking nice we need to have this at an angle though and i just realized when we spawn it in we get a physical body warning so we have to delete a like object that isn't actually connected to the boat um just because we added this display right here that's happening okay turn on displays and there we go so now we have an active cctv footage of everything basically so of our net our engine room which our engineer would sit right there and then our actual anchor and the bow of our ship cool but then some of you guys were telling me to actually add a foghorn which does um, make sense because we need to actually honk at people if they're in our way or just like let people know of something. I have no idea, but we're going to put this somewhere. So there's not actually a whole lot of places that we actually can put it. We're just probably going to put it right here. That won't affect like actually how loud it is. Um, And realistically, it would. But in this game, it's for some reason doesn't. And then which breaker? We'll just connect it to ship displays. We're connecting like everything to that. But I mean, it kind of is. So we're going to connect space to that. And then we're going to do space as our horn. There we go. Space is our horn. And then it is on push. So there we go. Now it should all work. And I think this one, we're just going to merge into the ship so we don't get that warning anymore. There we go. No warning when it spawns. Let's go ahead and test our horn. So we're going to turn up our volume and there we go. Yep, definitely works. That is loud and clear. Perfect. Then I actually wanted to add like a backup helm outside of the boat on the exterior, just in case we lost all hydraulic control for some reason. So we'll just put this out here. And then how should we do this to make it look better? Honestly, we'll probably just leave it there and then we'll connect A and D. Where's that at? A and D on this thing. We'll connect that straight to this switch box should be like right here. So the off value. So let's just say our hydraulics are turned off. Let's go ahead and test this. So as you can see, when I steer, we can clearly see the rudder steering. And then I'm going to go turn off hydraulics. All right, so we're going to go and turn off our hydraulics. And there we go. Our, our hydraulics are completely turned off. We're going to go up here and now try steering again. And it is not moving at all. So now let's go up here and then we're going to try steering now. And there we go. So now we have hydraulic steering just if this is actually um, just because this is up here. So that's our emergency steering just in case hydraulic power disappears. But of course, we can't forget the rudder is going to be way harder to steer. So we're going to turn the sensitivity to like 4%. There we go. So now that's going to be really hard to steer because that's like manually turning this thing. But that's probably going to be it for this video. We added a whole bunch of stuff today. It might also be it for this series on the building part of it. But of course, we're going to like test this thing, put it on workshop, do all that stuff, and maybe one of the future videos. But make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell. Join the Discord link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.